Hey there, it's Mitzi. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share my reading plans for the month of September. Now, during the next few months, September, October, November, and on into December, there are a lot of readathons and things going on that are super exciting for the booktube world. So if you are new to booktube, you've just joined us in the booktube community, welcome. It's going to be a lot of fun over the next few months because everybody does all sorts of fun activities for the autumn season as well as for the holiday season around Christmas time. So there is so many wonderful readathons and uh, read-alongs and all those fun things coming up over the next few months, and I am super excited about it. If you follow my channel, you know that I joined BookTube because of Victober, which is during the month of October, a celebration of Victorian literature. And that's one of my favorite things to read. And so I started this channel because of that. I posted my first booktube video in September and I am coming up on my first year, my one year anniversary on booktube. So that makes it even more exciting for me. So I'm really excited about September and I'm excited to celebrate my first anniversary on booktube. It's been so much fun. I am so thankful for our community. I'm thankful for all the booktubers I have met along the way. I'm thankful for all the viewers and the commenters. All these wonderful book people who love books just like I do. And I'm so thankful for you. So this is going to be a great season for us and I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. So this past week I sat down and I looked at all the books that I have on my cart. I have one of those little book carts. Of course, I have plenty on my shelf too, but I keep a book cart to kind of uh, keep up front the things that I want to read soon. And so I was going through my book cart and I was looking at the ones that I want to get read pretty soon, you know, before the year is up. And also, you know, all these readathons coming up, uh, I wanted to participate in those too. So there are several things that I'm going to talk about in this uh, video about the September readathons and different activities that will be taking place. One of the readathons in September is the Shake Timber, and I'll leave links to all these things down below. But Shake Timber came to my attention last year. Rainy from Rainy Day Reads. She's one of my favorites. I love watching her. She also does like knitting and stuff like that. She does all these things with yarn that I have no clue what she's doing. Cross stitching. Now I do know how to cross stitch, but I hadn't done that in years. But she will knit scarves and hats and clothing and everything else. She's super talented. And I even watch those. I don't do any of that. But I watch her videos because I love her personality. So if you haven't watched uh, Rainy from Rainy Day Reads, I'll put a link to her below. But she is one of the hosts for the Shake Timber. And last year, she made me so excited about Shakespeare. And I've never been excited about Shakespeare. I've never been a fan of Shakespeare. I mean, I appreciate William Shakespeare's contribution to literature. Of course, he's super important to English literature, of course. But I have always found Shakespeare complicated and hard to understand. So when Rainey promoted it last year, I thought, well, she makes it sound like I can do this. And so I thought, well, I will start. I didn't really participate last year, but I thought I'm going to start trying to pick up some Shakespeare. So I've been doing that. And I read Hamlet earlier this year and really enjoyed that. And I watched a Hamlet adaptation that was fantastic. So I decided this year for Shake Timber, I was definitely going to participate. So thank you to Rainy because I did enjoy Hamlet and it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. Oh, and then I also read The Tempest. I can't remember what I read that for, but there was something going on and I read The Tempest and it was great too. It was not as good to me as Hamlet, but I understood it. So I thought that was great. So this time, I think I'm going to, what I'm trying to say here, I know I'm rambling. Um, I think I'm going to try to read A Midsummer Night's Dream. Now, this is the only copy I have. It's one of those No Fear Shakespeare's, which, by the way, if you're intimidated like I am of Shakespeare, this is a great place to start because this makes it super easy. It has the play, the original play on one side, and then on the other side, it has it like in modern day language. So if you're not understanding something, 
you know, from Shakespeare, you can always go over and see what, what in the world <laughs> they're talking about. So anyway, I have this copy of the uh, Midsummer Night's Dream, and I think this is the one that Rainey um, is sort of promoting for the Shake Timber for her week during this readathon. So I thought I would read along with that. So that will be for Shake Timber. Now I won't be participating in all those prompts. I'm just going to read this one. And I'm proud of myself for actually attempting that. And then I hope to actually watch an adaptation of that too. So that's for Shake Timber. And then there's one called 30 Books in 30 Days. And I wanted to do that one too, but I was looking at my books on my shelf. I don't have a lot of books that are under 100 pages because it's supposed to be 100 pages or around 100 pages. I have a few and I'm... I might put, pull those in, but I thought I might just do picture books for that because I love picture books and I want to go to the library and pick up some more. And especially during the fall season, there's some really good picture books that I enjoy during that time. So I think what I might do for 30 books in 30 days is read a picture book a day. And I'm not sure, but I think I might do that for September. And then there is the um, series September, and I'll put again the host, that's Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand and Krista from Books and Jams. I definitely want to participate in that because I posted a video just recently about series I wanted to try, and I have series on my shelf that I need to, to get to. So what I did was I went through my books and I looked at the series that I have that I really need to get to and they fit those prompts very well. So I'm going to go through that um, first and then I'm also going to of course be participating in the More Montgomery Challenge that I'm hosting along with Elizabeth from Lizzie Fay Loves Books. We're hosting the More Montgomery Challenge September, October, and November. So I need to pull that in too. But I find that the Series September and the More Montgomery Challenge go well together as well as the 30 books for 30 days or the short reads um, because there's, there's some short things you could read for Montgomery too. So for the Series September, we have, let's see, I wrote these down. Okay, so here we go. The first one is Let's Get It Started. Start a new series or start a series by a new to you author. So this will be for either one of those. This is a new to me author because I've never read Ruth Rendell and this is a new series because it starts a series. This one is called From Dune with Death. It's the first in a series and I'm actually going to buddy read this with a viewer, Glenda, who is a wonderful commenter. So thank you Glenda for always being so supportive of this channel and we are going to read this one together. So that will be uh, for that first prompt, let's get it started. The next prompt is double it up. Read two books in the same series, a duology, two books in two different series. There's lots of ways you can fulfill this one. For this, I'm going to do a duology. And so I'm going to read the first in a duology. And this will help me for the Montgomery Challenge 2. And that is Pat of Silverbush by L.M. Montgomery. So for the more Montgomery Challenge, this will fulfill the um, read a, a book from a duology or a trilogy. And this is the first in a duology. I think, think this one's the first. I have both of them. But Pat of Silverbush will um, fulfill that prompt. Double it up. Blast from the Past. Now, I read this when I was in middle school and this made me a reader. Beverly Clary made me a reader. But the book is called 15. And this is actually part of a series. Now, I don't think this is the first one. I can't even remember all the titles. This is the only one I have because this was my favorite in the series. But I thought I would look up the first one in the series and just go back through that series because, again, I loved it. Now, 15 in particular was my favorite. I remember this one stood out for me in that series by Beverly Clary. And I can still remember when I go into the library in my mind, in middle school, in my, at the middle school, I can tell you exactly where this book was on the shelf. And the others were there too. But I pulled this off and checked it out 
so many times during my time from sixth to eighth grade. I don't even know how many times. It was such a comfort read for me after reading it so many times. And it was like a go-to during my middle school years. So I definitely want to go back when I saw this. This is a raggedy copy, but I want to buy the whole series of these and um, reread them because I haven't read them in so long. So this will be for the blast from the past. That'll be a fun one to do. A talk of the town, read a book in a popular series. And so for this one, I thought I would read, let me make sure I got this right. Yep. Yeah. The Vanderbeekers, because this was super popular last year, especially, and maybe the year before that. The Vanderbeekers is a middle grade uh, series, and I have read the first two, I think, in this series, and this is the third one, The Vanderbeekers to the Rescue. I really enjoyed this series. I read my first one last year, and then at the beginning of this year, I think I read the second one, so I'm going to continue this series and fulfill Talk of the Town with this one because this one's been pretty popular, and I enjoy the family in this. It's a great diverse family and the the community the neighborhood's great i love all the characters in this series so i will continue that and then we have uh that's a wrap which is the center square and that is finish a series so for that one i am going to do rilla from ingleside because that will finish up the anna green gable series for me I was supposed to finish that in August, but I saved it because I knew that it would work for um, two different prompts on two different readathons. So for the middle, that's a wrap center square, I'm going to finish the Anne of Green Gable series. Then out of the box, now this is really out of the box because it says uh, read a graphic novel series, read a book that's out of your comfort zone or a new genre, or read a book from a different medium. Well, I'm taking this literally because I have the whole set of Jeanette Oaks' um, Once Upon a Summer is one of them. It's Seasons of the Heart. That's what it's called. It's a series called Seasons of the Heart, and I read Once Upon a Summer, and the next one in that series is The Winds of Autumn, and I thought since it's going to be, you know, the fall season, this would be a good one to read. <laughs> I'm using this for out of the box because I have the box set of these. These all came in a box together. For out of the box, I'm going to read the next one in this series, which is The Winds of Autumn by Jeanette Oak. I know that is uh, not exactly what they meant, but I'm taking it literally, and that's how I'm fulfilling that prompt, because that's what I want to do. Okay, so out of the box is that one. You own it, now start it. Okay, for this one, this is, was an easy one for me because I have almost every single one of the books in this series, and that is the Mitford series. So I'm going to read At Home in Mitford with Jan Karen. I think I'm going to be buddy reading this. Um, I've got to set that up, but I think I'll buddy read this one, and that will be so much fun, I'm sure, because I have wanted to read this for years and i have been collecting these for way too long so i'm glad for the september series uh this series september because this is the main one i'm most looking forward to why have i not read this i do not know so i'm going to be reading at home in mitford and i think this is a pretty long series but i, I think i have like i said just about every book then now you can watch it. This one is another one that I've had forever, and it was actually one of the books at the beginning of the year that I said I needed to get to a classic. It's a Newberry winner, and I'm trying to read all the Newberries. I should have already read this, but that is The Giver by Lois Lowry. They have made a movie adaptation of this, and of course I've never seen it because I wanted to read the book first, and this is the first in a series which I did not know until I posted this, and some of you viewers <laughs> told me, said, there are other books in that series. And I was like, okay, well, I didn't even know that. So if I really enjoyed this one, I will be starting a new series. I do love Lois Lowry's writing. I have read other things by Lois Lowry, and I do enjoy her writing. And I enjoy a good dystopian science fiction kind of book from time to time, too. So I think I will 
enjoy this. I've heard great things about The Giver. So, and I also was going to read this this summer, and somebody told me that's more of a fall read. So, maybe that, that's true, and I will read that for that prompt. Now you can watch it. And finally, the last prompt on the series September is Three's a Crowd, and read a book from a trilogy or read three books from the same series. And for that one, I have three books that I'm going to try to get to. Um, the main one is Cranford by Elizabeth Gaskell. But there is actually a prequel and sort of a sequel to this. So I'm going to count this as sort of a trilogy. And Cranford by Elizabeth Gaskell. I'm trying to read all the Elizabeth Gaskell books. So this will be my next one for that. But there's also a prequel called Mr. Harrison's Confessions. And then there's this other book, and I think this goes with it too. I might be wrong, but I think this goes with it too. Some, it's, it's related somehow. My Lady Ludlow by Elizabeth Gaskell. I'm thinking it is something to do with Cranford. Let me know in the comments because I'm going with it. That's what I'm going to try to read are these three. Cranford, Mr. Harrison's Confess. Confessions and My Lady Ludlow because I want to read everything uh, Elizabeth Gaskell's written anyway. So that and these are not long at all. This is more like a novella, and I think this is too. So I don't think that will take me. And this is probably one of the Cranford is probably her shortest novel. So I don't think that will take me too long to do. Okay, so that is series September. As if that's not enough, I have other <laughs> books on my. TBR too. So also, as you know, I am hosting along with Elizabeth from Lizzie Fay Loves Books. We are hosting the Moore Montgomery Challenge. So what I plan on doing is each month do three different squares. So for the month of September, I'm going to do the middle row, which is watch any adaptation uh, read an Anne book if you if you've read them all it's a free space but I saved my last Anne book for that square and then a book from a duology as I said before I'm going to try to read Pat of Silverbush so that will be for the three prompts that I want to fulfill during the month of September so those are the plans that I have so far I have a couple of other books um, that are on my cart right here that I could add, include, and, and change out some prompts. The War I Finally Won, I still haven't read that yet. I love the first one in this. Um, I think it's just two books. I think it's duology. But I love this. And then I also have the next one in the James Harriet series, All Things Bright and Beautiful. I could definitely, I'm always in the mood for James Harriet, so I could definitely choose this one. And then I also have um, Out of the Silent Planet, which is, I think that's the first one in C.S. Lewis's um, sci-fi. I think there's three. This is a trilogy, I think, um, in his sci-fi trilogy. So there's lots of other books here that I could choose. I have lots of series to start so for series September. I have so many books, y'all. <laughs> it's crazy how many books I really have. So those are the books that I am planning on reading, but I, it's not written in stone. If you follow my channel, you know I create these TBRs, and then halfway through, I will mood read. So we shall see how I do on this. Have you read any of these books? Let me know that in the comments. And also, are you participating in any readathons or group reads or buddy reads during the month of September? Let me know that in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.